it ends up being a movie about isolation. It's kind of a film about paranoia. the human response to fear. I'd call it a psychological thriller. Mm -hmm. And maybe even like a whodunit. <laughs> she had absolute panic in her voice. She was such a phenomenal actress. It's insane. We, we absolutely adored her. We shoot. She seemed to recognize you? No. And she was like, they can tell you something about when she's on trial. There was more going on here. She's behind me, and I, I couldn't see him at all. So then all of a sudden, I heard the gunshot, and then I hear him yell, you shot me. I was scared to death. I can only imagine. There was a phone on the table, and I kept trying to dial 911, and I put it up to my ear. I'm like, this thing won't work. And the phone dropped on the floor. And I thought, whatever, if you're gonna shoot me, do it. So I grabbed all my stuff. I stepped over his body and go to my car. And I thought, just don't turn around. Don't turn around. Just get in your car and leave. I feel like I was probably in shock. How did you learn about the video surfacing? I received a call from the case agent. And he said, you got to come to the sheriff's department. You're not going to believe this. When he pushes a button on his computer, my jaw hit the floor. 